want to give you guys a few tips on working with slicing and artboards to save web images out of Adobe Illustrator. Now this is going to apply to Illustrator CS4 and CS5. Now if you look, you will see that I have an artboard here. And one of the great things about Illustrator is the fact that, you know, if I click on an artboard, it's going to be active. When we go to save, if I come up to file, save for web, and I've got that taco truck artboard selected. What it's going to do is it's going to focus just on that artboard. So it's going to want to export that as an image. Now, one thing we can do, which is kind of cool, let me cancel this. Let's suppose we want to take this whole thing out and create a little contact sheet or something, just a bunch of images to show people this. Or I've done this before with ads. If I come up under object and go to slice, you'll see this option right here called clip to artboard. Now that's on by default, but if you turn it off, even if I have one of the other artboards or an artboard selected, and I go to save for web and devices, and you guys can use the shortcut obviously, look what it does. It actually just, it doesn't care about the artboards anymore. It just says whatever artwork we have out there that's you know out, out on the artboards or out there will be exported as one big image. So that's something that's kind of interesting you guys can play with. Now I'm gonna turn that back on because that drives me nuts sometimes, so I'll turn that back on. Another thing is when you're working with artboards, a lot of times you'll have something you draw and you'll have the artboard might be too big, especially with web icons and things like that. You want you know, your artboards to be pretty close usually to the artwork itself. So what we can do is we can fit the artboard to the artwork. Now there's 50 ways to do this. One way I like to do it is to select the artwork, come to object, and we can do it with the artboard tool as well. Come to artboards and you'll see something like fit to selected art. So I choose that, it'll fit it perfectly. Now, that's not that fast, okay? <laughs> You've gotta to go to a menu, etc. So here's what I tend to do, I'm gonna undo. I will undo that, maybe. And there we go. What I use is I shortcut, I'll put a shortcut on this thing. So I'll go to edit, keyboard shortcuts. I use that a lot for a lot of things I do. Come into the keyboard shortcuts panel here, the dialog box rather, and go to menu commands, go to object, come down. If you guys take a look, we're gonna to go to uh, artboards right there and we can see fit to selected art put my cursor right there and do something like Control alt f that's not being used by anything click ok it's going to ask me to save this set i'll say brian's i know no apostrophe there we go now next thing i can do is if i come into object just to show you guys i'll see artboards i now have a shortcut right there so if i just select the artwork Control alt f i can fit the artboard to the artwork and my Shortcut is not working. It should work right now. That is awesome. All control F. That is, I swear to you, I'm hitting that right now. So the magic is gone. Hold on. Control Alt F. Ah, that's awesome. It could be to do with my screen recording software, you guys. But anyway, it, that'll work. I guarantee you, you try it, it'll work. Another thing we can do is with slicing. A lot of times I want to be able to take artwork, and if I've created a bunch of icons, things like that, I could create artboards for each one of these and just save them out. That's easy. Or I could slice this up and just save it out that way. If you select artwork, you can go to the slice tool and we've got it sitting over here and just you know draw a slice, that's pretty easy. But an easier way to do it, I think, is to have it draw it for me, Illustrator. If I go to object and go to slice, you will see create from selection. Now, if I click on that, it'll just do it and go right around the artwork, uh, the, the bounds of the artwork. Now, if I wanna make this even faster, I click on this, I can go up to edit keyboard shortcuts and make a keyboard shortcut for that. So if I go to menu commands, go to object, you'll see slice in here. And then we'll see something like, you know, where are we at here? Uh, make, actually make will do it too. It's kind of weird, but um, you'll see create from selection. I'll do that. And I'll do like a, you know, some keyboard shortcut that's not being used. It doesn't make any sense, but who cares? Click okay. Right over my set and then use the shortcut, Control alt shift a and it is not letting me do it. That is awesome. Like I said, you guys, this is my the screen recording software messing with Illustrator. Way to go, Camtasia. Anyway, uh, so if I go to Object and go to Slice, you guys will see my shortcut right there. It's not working, but if I choose Create from Selection, there we go. So there's several ways to be able to use the artboards to our advantage to be able to save things out, also to be able to use slicing to be able to save things out. And another thing you guys can do is if you do want to create artboards, one of the things that we can get done pretty quickly is if I go to the artboard tool, which is shift O or shift uh, out there, I'll just delete this one. We can simply just draw these things pretty quickly if I click and drag and it is not, wow, something is just freaking out here. 
Way to go, Illustrator and Camtasia. Uh, but we can just draw on our board real quick, and you can use your Option key on Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate that, making sure that you turn off this little guy so it doesn't move the artwork. So we can just quickly duplicate a bunch of our boards or just continue to draw them. And, oh, look at that. It let me do one. Anyway. So there's a lot of ways to get this done, like I said. Those are just a few tips. Sorry they didn't actually work. It's, like I said, it's up to the software, but not me. So there you go.